Alright, yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. I said I was done spending money, but they decided to release the best bundle they've ever released. Maybe, may, maybe ever. Uh, especially this early in this game. Okay, so let me break it down for you. So these five goat gold bundles, okay? So they're gonna give you five goats. They're gonna give you five goat gold packs. Alright, okay, we'll just buy it, because I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna open it up in this episode. But, you get five goat gold packs. You get 20 baby goat toppers and you get, or 20 baby goats, you get 20 baby goats, and then you get a goat fantasy pack. This may be the best pack literally ever released, especially when, you, like, you put it in the context about what time it's being released in the game cycle and what you get out of it. I did the math, so the prices have kind of settled out on these goat golds a little bit here. We'll take a look, I'll show you guys. Uh, you can buy three of these, so if you want to go big and you want to go large and spend 100 bucks. I'll also break that down for you as well, but let me break this down and then we'll rip it up open. So we got the baby goats pulled up here. They currently go for 9,500. Now they don't really sell for 9,500 um, because people figured out you can just buy the 8K ones. So they do sell, as you can see, the berries sold, but they're a little bit slower selling than they used to be at like the 11K. It's a little disappointing uh, that they're a little slow selling, but at 9,500 after tax, so. They take 10%. Uh, it's, it's, um, what am I trying to say? 95, <laughs> minus the tax, it's nine. it's 8650. Okay, 8,600, or no, wait, 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 wait. it's 8,550. Let me do my math correctly here. Okay, you get at minimum out of this, at bare minimum, you get 25 goat golds. That's 213,750 coins. Okay, if you do this, if you do three times, that's 650,000 coins for 100 bucks. Now, tell me at any point in Madden where you got guaranteed that many coins out of a bundle. So, that's why this is by far the best bundle ever released, in my opinion. I can't think of a better one. If you guys can, time-wise, uh, let me know. But I had to do this. This will pop me way over a million coins, and then I'll be happy. I'll be happy with myself. Um, and then, on top of that, you can get up to 35 of a per so if you do 35 you won't get 35 i it, it i've opened enough enough gold gold but that's 300k that's 300k if you open up 35 that is almost 900,000 if you open up three bundles of this so we'll get the topper out of the way it's just gonna be 20 baby goats we'll flip through these really quick 20 of these all auctionable and tradable so Good stuff there, and then we'll open up the Goat Fantasy Pack. I'm gonna pick Brady. I don't really have another option. I don't need. I don't need uh, Barry. I already have Barry. I don't need Jerry Rice because. Um, what am I trying to say? I don't need Jerry Rice because I have Randy Moss. I have Calvin, and I'm gonna get an 86 Devonte Adams. It's just not, I, there's no point to get Jerry. I don't really need Dion. It comes down to Dion or Brady, maybe a lot, but then I have to upgrade a lot to make it worthwhile to have a lot. I could take Dion, but his press is garbage, and I don't really see the point in having him. I mean, I could, but... Uh, yeah, I just don't really see the point. So it's going to be Tom Brady. I get to add Tom Brady to the team. I'm happy about that. Uh, I'll still keep Tyrod on the squad, but... Uh, we add Brady. You also get three goat, go goats out of this. I really wish that I wouldn't have um, done that Barry Sanders. I could have just got him now. So there's one goat. Oh, we got an elite. Okay, Theo Riddick. Not great, but okay. Dontrell Inman, not bad. Okay, see, first pack, just one goat gold. Um, Theo Riddick, not bad. He's probably like 5k or something like that. So not, not an awful pack. I don't know why I like doing these gold golds from the back. I feel like I've had my best luck with it. Okay, this is not gonna be a good pick. Oh, oh, there's, oh, there was a, okay. Came up clutch at the very end with two gold golds, so that's good. Three more packs to go. I want one clutch three gold gold pack. There's the D, okay, we're not getting it here. Great bot. Wow, this was an awful pack. This is one of the worst gold, gold packs I've ever seen. Alright, two more to go. Oh, we got no- Oh! What? Whoa! 
What? An 88 Lane Johnson? What? Might be my best pull of the year. That is my best pull of the year. An 88 Lane Johnson. That's got to be worth more than the Kurt Cousins I pulled. Oh my gosh. This bundle turned into the greatest bundle. Okay, we're starting it off with the Brady. That's always good. I love to get... I love to get the... That, see, that's what I was talking, I was trying to say. I love to get the goat gold first in the pack or first from the back because it means that there's still plenty of opportunities. So we got the Randy Moss. Uh, we might come up short on the third baby. Yeah, we came up short on the third, but that's two baby goats, so that's good. And so now, now we get to check the price on that Lane Johnson. First of all, let's see how many baby goats we got. I believe we got two extras, but it's kind of hard to look at because I have non-auctionable tradable ones. I don't have that many, though. Is it this Brady, the last non-auctionable? Yeah, so we have five left. So we got 29. 29 goat golds. It guaranteed you 25. So, no, wait, wait, I can't do, I can't do math, dude. I can't do math. It's 28, or it's 27, 27. Let me learn how to do math, dude. How'd I get into college? Not no. how am I a college senior without knowing how to do math? 27. <laughs> Go gold. So, like I said, I got two extras. Let's see, that's a cool, let's see, let's do the math here. Twenty-seven. That is two hundred and thirty thousand coins minimum. We'll reset that. Let's go to our elites. This is the big. It's the big deal. I still need to sell like golds and stuff, but I haven't been doing it. It's kind of. It's just really lazy, and I need to do it. Okay, so do this first. Theo Riddick. How much are you going for? Okay, if he's going for like seven k. That's not okay. I was right about five k, six k. That's not bad. Not bad. Not bad for Theo Riddick. Lane Johnson, here we go. Moment of truth. What's he go for? Oh. Oh my god. I just pulled like a 500k bundle. I'm that's oh my god. I was expecting like 80k for him. I was like, okay, pretty good pull. A little bit more than I got for the Kirk Cousins, but 180k. That that's enough, dude. 180k. Alright guys, like I said, <laughs> even without the Lane Johnson, purely the best bundle to open, it's not even close. With the Lane Johnson, it's the best bundle ever. I think it beats every bundle I've ever pulled in any met, if you include this Lane Johnson, value-wise. Because I even pulled, like, I've pulled limited editions and all of that different stuff, and I don't think I've pulled anything worth a million coins or anything like that. Like, my luck is not that good, but... We got that Lane Johnson. And if he actually sells for that much, dude, we pulled like a 400k bundle. So let's put Tom Brady in. We got three quarterbacks, and I'll probably sell Tyrod. Um, as much as I like running around with Tyrod, he's worth a lot of coins, and I just throw it to Randy Moss anyway at this point. Oh my gosh, Brady didn't even get me to it. Oh my. Brady didn't even get me to an 80. I can't get to an 84, dude. I don't understand it. Why can't I get to an 84? Like, I feel like this is a solid squad that just is getting killed and not allowed to be an 84. Like, I, I, I kind of understand. I do have some guys that aren't high. In, like, my D-line is not very high, but come on. You can't... Give me give me a little bit of help, Gabe. Give me a little bit of help. But safety, strong safety is a little weak. But I do love my strong safeties here uh, with Rodney Harrison. The Rodney Harrison's kind of bad. Um... Uh, but other than that, pretty good. I'm happy with my team, but I kind of wish it was an 84 so I could get at least some coins for the solo challenges. But that's going to do it, guys. I guess we'll check Tyrod's price real quick. What is he now? What is Tyrod going for now? What's my boy Tyrod? If he's under, like, 15K, I'm just going to keep him. Because there'll probably be a point where I want to play with Tyrod again. All right, Tyrod, what you going for? 10k i'll just keep him for that i'm just keeping tyrod for that i ain't selling him for that but guys well that's gonna do it i hope you guys enjoyed greatest bundle by far not even close in my opinion and i'll catch you guys in the next episode Letting go, times we might feel looking down